Welcome to the three and welcome this week's new co-host, Ms. Tamara Garza. Tamara, we are so excited to have you. You're looking fabulous on this sure Monday. Are. I'm trying to summon the spring. Yeah, we love that. This weather is not it for us here I on the know. three. I woke up so angry. I was freezing in my house, but I had the heat on. That was the thing, but it was still so cold. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, do so. my hair, they said. Curl my hair, they said. But, <laughs> you know, this is what we got. Well, so. you look good. I think that mm -hmm. the, for the rest of the week, we will continue to try to summon spring. Mm, that's right. That's the plan. Yes, I'm here for that. All <laughs> right, let's do it. So a dress, speaking of clothes, a dress worn by Diana, Princess of Wales, has been sold for more than six hundred thousand dollars this auburn jean velvet ball gown went up for sale for the first time in 25 years the dress is one of princess diana's most iconic gowns she wore it for both an official royal portrait in 1991 and an intimate vanity fair spread in 97. it sold for six hundred and four thousand dollars which is just over five times the 120,000 auction estimate. The strapless number features a sculptural sweetheart neckline and a tulip-shaped skirt. So listen, I, I don't have I don't have six hundred thousand dollars, but I would wear that. I would wear that too. Yeah. That is gorgeous. I don't know what I would wear it for <laughs> or to, but I would come up with an event to wear that too. How about you? As a realtor, I could think of a few other things <laughs> that I could spend six hundred thousand dollars on, but that those jewel tones are kind of amazing. Yeah, and that, that that velvet is just gorgeous. So. I love it. it's the color for yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's regal. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> it's time for a wild headline out of New Jersey. A 29-year-old woman has been arrested and is facing charges after posing as a high school freshman for four days. Right now, it's unclear why the woman chose to do this, but parents say this is a security problem. Mm -hmm. The 29-year-old in question was able to enroll by using a fake birth certificate. And police also add that her enrollment was due to the fact that the New Jersey Education Department requires schools to enroll unaccompanied need students without proof of guardianship. I don't know about y'all, but if I could go back some time in my life, mm -hmm. I'm not going back to freshman year of high school. Right? Exactly what I was thinking. That would be probably the worst, but right? kudos to her for being mm -hmm. able to pass it off. I, do we know how long she was able to get away with this? I, I have no I idea. I think she was here for a couple days. She was here <laughs> yeah, for four, four days, right? Mm -hmm. Four. <laughs> Which is Almost nutty. a whole week of just walking around being a freshman again. With Ter that's a I terrible know, yeah, age. Yeah. I do not want to relive that. Never that's again. interesting too because there were actually cases of a few cases back in the day where people were doing this. So it was a um, guy, he did it because he wanted to play basketball. And so oh. he wanted to get into the NBA. So he went back to school because he thought he can get recruited. So, I mean, people have all I mean, they make a lot of reasons. movies about that. That's 17 yeah. again. That's that's what the movie with Zac Efron is, mm -hmm. is about, right? Mm -hmm. He Freaky goes back Friday. in time. Freaky Friday. <laughs> right? yeah. I don't know. I'm just nuts. I don't know. People are crazy. That's okay, hysterical. so in Virginia, a Green County man is becoming famous for his facial wow. hair. Check that out. So Bob Baker's award-winning mustache has earned him the title two years in a row, <laughs> specifically in the freestyle competition. So of course, Bob's stash has a name. Elliot Norris, as he calls it, <laughs> has been styled in many different ways, like the classic handlebar, the pencil, and the walrus. The mustache has even earned him a small movie role. That's funny. We're over here laughing, but it's because it's so funny, but it's cute. Though. It's <laughs> well, is it? Is yeah. it cute? <laughs> it's, like, it's like a corny little thing. I think it's cool. <laughs> well, I just learned that they have different categories for this. <laughs> the walrus. The pencil. Right. Yeah. right? Handlebar's the only one I've ever heard of. Yeah, but it's funny. Now I'm, now I'm curious. I'm going to go Google <laughs> mustache styles. Yeah. Well, we All actually, different. well, we did figure out kind of when we first started the show that they had mustache competitions remember they had like mustache competitions like mullets and all those things they, they have, have a competition, competition for, for everything, everything. Yeah. all the unique stuff yeah, i'm yeah, just yeah. scared of what goes into all of that yeah, <laughs> I know. that's a lot of maintenance a lot of yeah. cleaning mm -hmm. constantly <laughs> yeah i don't want to think about that right